It's okay, a movie about self-discovery explores cultural expectations, racial stereotypes, and the bonds that unite families. The director Jade Sola Oshiberu generates fever, pitch, anticipation across the movie world. It finally premiered in Nigeria. Check it out. Somewhere in Lagos, southwest Nigeria, the beautiful sea breeze of the coastal city creates a beautiful ambient for the Nigerian premiere of the much talked about witty romantic drama Isoke. Coming off the back of good reviews that trailed the London premiere of the movie a couple of weeks back, movie lovers thronged the premiere. The red carpet was bright with radiant fashion and styles as the cast, crew and even guests turned up looking fly. The movie's lead, Dakore Akonde in particular, arrived in an off-shoulder red jumpsuit with a flamboyant tail and back bow. Produced and directed by Jade Sola Osiberu, who although had directed a couple of television series, is only making our first feature-length movie, features a stellar cast including Patrick Doyle, Dakore Akonde, Joseph Benjamin, Funke Akindele and many others. Securing the services of these big-name celebrities meant she had to approach with an A-game. First, um, I sent them a script that they were happy with, they were happy, they were intrigued by. And second was, I had a bit of a track record. Yes, I'm, this is the first film, but I had made TV shows before then and they had seen that I had a mark of at least excellence, trying my best to make good work. And so they wanted to, they, they were excited to work with a young filmmaker that had a good script and they could see already a track record of good work. For Mr. Doyle, saying yes was a bit easy since he had been a close admirer of Osibero's credentials on the Giddy Ups. I was a very, very avid watcher of Giddy Up, and in fact, I presumed that it was directed by a man. I was very, very surprised to hear that it was a young lady. And so I actually went out to say, show me that young lady. And at some activity, some industry-related activity, she was pointed out to me, and I approached her and I said, well done, I like your work. And I think that you're going to go places. And not too long after, I got a call from her and a script saying, I'm doing this movie, please. I, I, I mean, I, it was a no-brainer. Father, Father, any spirit holding my wedding Any now. spirit holding my wedding now. Release it. Release it now. Release my it's me. Release me. Claimed actress and producer Funke Akindele, who played a prominent role in the movie, helped us understand how Sibero might be feeling right now as she hosted her first feature length movie premiere. Oh, mixed feelings. She's excited, she's happy, she's. I, she, I, I think she's a bit on the edge, you know, like um, she's, she's wondering what will happen. What's the expectation of everyone? I'm sure it's positive all, all the way. And it's it's a good one for Jadia Emerson because she's put a lot of hard work into, into it. And for being the first time, she did a great job. So I'm sure at the end of it all, she'll smile. And even though the reviews are quite impressive, the director is still being modest about her achievement. I think as a filmmaker, you never completely get what you want out of the film because life happens. Like when you're shooting what you imagine, you don't quite get it. But I think generally, a lot of people put um, their best work into this film. I would say the crew, I had a fantastic team, cast, crew, everybody, and everybody worked really hard to produce this. I don't have a boyfriend, and no, I'm not gonna kill myself. I am freaking fine. Walk, 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 walk. How do they find the husband? How? The competition with the outside, they very tired. 
We are proud of this production because this is coming from a young girl, an upcoming producer, and we are happy that she started well with us, and today we are here to see the fame. This is Rene. Oh, good evening, ma. Uh, she's married. <laughs> and this is Isoka. Uh, this is my son, Osaze. The movie tells the story of how a young lady, following societal pressure about getting married, fell into a love triangle and eventually found real love from unexpected quarters. Now, what's me wet my mind? If there ever was a checklist of what a great guy would be, Saze would tick every box. Oh. Successful. Check. I've raised over $3 million. Handsome. Check. Great kisser. Really? Check, check, check. <laughs> so what do you call the fine again, girl? Friend, but for a lot of women, it's not that unique and different. It's common to a lot of women in their early, late 20s, early 30s who are unmarried, and there's a lot of pressure culturally. I mean, there are multi dimensions to the story, but um, I would say as a culture, we are very um, marriage obsessed <laughs> and so there's a lot of pressure from um, all the older generation and the younger people to get married and settle down and all of these things. So yeah, that's where I came from. Actors Inyina Nguigwe and Efa Iwara say in reality, the marriage pressure is not restricted to just women. There's equal pressure on men. I mean, I'm the only person in my family that is not married with kids. So I mean, my dad mentions it every now and then. Very subtle. He's like, you get your older bro, like get married. My mom chips it every now and then. I want to get grandchildren. Yes, people pressure me. Do I feel pressure? No. Why? Because I I do things by the leading of my own heart and how I feel and my own perception and discernment. I just feel like this one way they look me like this. Find things for boys now. Oh no, today dry. But well done, oh. I can be myself. 